The Brunei royal family is known for its immense wealth, with Sultan Hassan Baikia having ruled the country for 55 years. However, beneath their opulent lifestyle lies a web of carefully guarded secrets. Sultan Hassan's younger brother, Prince Jeffrey, is often labeled a playboy. But why is he called this, and what scandalous activities have taken place within the palace? Brace yourself as we delve into the truth. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Now, let's explore Brunei, a small nation in Southeast Asia, with a population of just under half a million. Despite its size, Brunei boasts vast wealth, primarily due to its rich reserves of oil and gas. Sultan Hassan's fortune is estimated at nearly $30 billion, but today, our focus is on his younger brother, Prince Jeffrey, who is also incredibly affluent, with billions in assets. Prince Jeffrey is notorious for his extravagant spending habits and lavish lifestyle. His possessions include a private Boeing 747 and a vast collection of luxury cars, comprising around 2,000 vehicles. He also owns real estate across the globe, from Paris to Los Angeles to London. However, the late 90s brought a series of scandals for Prince Jeffrey. During this period, while serving as Brunei's finance minister, he faced allegations of misappropriating a staggering $14.8 billion. As a result, he was forced to sell a significant portion of his assets and leave the country. Surprisingly, after a few years, his older brother, Sultan Hassan, allowed him to return to Brunei. Yet, this scandal was not the most significant stain on Prince Jeffrey's reputation. He has always been known for his penchant for beautiful women, earning him the label of a playboy. He has been married five times, with his first marriage ending in divorce. His wives have included a New Zealand model named Claire Kelly and a Filipino actress named Aunt Mancha Laurel. However, it seems that Prince Jeffrey's appetite for beauty knows no bounds. In his pursuit of beautiful women, he even established a harem where he kept a bevy of concubines to fulfill his desires. These concubines have remained mostly hidden from the public eye, but some shocking details have surfaced. In the late 90s, a former Miss USA named Shannon Marketic accused Prince Jeffrey and Sultan Hassan of holding her against her will in the palace and forcing her into prostitution. According to Marketic, a talent agency sent her to Brunei under the guise of modeling, but she ended up being coerced into intimate relations with Prince Jeffrey and his friends. Although the court case was eventually dismissed, rumors persisted about Prince Jeffrey's involvement with Marketic and other beautiful women. Prince Jeffrey's extravagance didn't stop there. He purchased a massive yacht for $500 million, which he named a salacious term meaning a woman's breast. Reports also suggested that he continued to host lavish parties with his mistresses, leading to lawsuits from business partners in London who claimed he misappropriated funds for extravagant expenses. In 2010, a significant scandal erupted that sent shockwaves through Prince Jeffrey's world when American writer Julian Lauren published her revealing book, titled Some Girls, My Life in the Harem. This explosive memoir sent ripples of controversy across the globe as Lauren disclosed her first-hand experiences as one of Prince Jeffrey's concubines during the 1990s. In her book, which was translated into a staggering 80 languages, Lauren exposed a myriad of startling revelations about the inner workings of Prince Jeffrey's world. Among the most shocking was Prince Jeffrey's clear preference for strikingly beautiful women, whom he often signed to short-term contracts. These women were not merely companions, but were effectively part of a highly secretive harem, tucked away on the opulent royal estate. Within this concealed world, these concubines enjoyed a life of luxury that few could even fathom. Their weekly stipends amounted to a staggering $20,000, demonstrating the exorbitant lengths to which Prince Jeffrey was willing to go to maintain this clandestine lifestyle. Yet, it wasn't just the monetary compensation. These women were also showered with valuable gifts, including exquisite jewelry, further emphasizing the extravagance that characterized their existence. Moreover, Lauren's revelations unveiled the unique dynamics within Prince Jeffrey's harem. 
While some concubines stayed for just a brief period, others remained for extended durations, with stays spanning a year or even two. These women found themselves ensconced in lavish accommodations on the sprawling royal estate, enjoying privileges and indulgences that were entirely out of reach for ordinary citizens. In essence, Julian Lauren's book offered a rare and intimate glimpse into the world of Prince Jeffrey's harem. Exposing not only the luxurious lifestyle these women were afforded, but also the surreal and highly controlled environment in which they lived. The scandalous details revealed in this expose added yet another layer of intrigue to Prince Jeffrey's already controversial reputation. Leaving the world both captivated and astounded by the opulence and secrecy that shrouded his private life. During Prince Jeffrey's extravagant parties, which often featured male friends, guests would sing, dance, and have fun. Sometimes, the prince would spend time alone with one of his girlfriends, or a girl might be asked to accompany him to his office during the day. All the girls in the harem had their own status, with the princess holding the highest rank. In some cases, he would even give an engagement ring to a girlfriend and refer to her as one of his wives. Prince Jeffrey's penchant for very young and thin girls was evident as Lauren joined the harem at the age of 18. Prince Jeffrey required all his concubines to lose weight, aiming for a teenage-like appearance. Lauren, who claimed to be Prince Jeffrey's second girlfriend, stated that she personally met Sultan Hassan by Kia during her two-year stay in Brunei. She also revealed that she earned over $300,000 during her time there, living in luxurious palaces and indulging in shopping sprees for Gucci, Armani, Versace, and other luxury brands. The revelations in Julian Lauren's book shed light on some of the darkest secrets within the Brunei royal family. Despite efforts by the royal family to distance themselves from these allegations, Prince Jeffrey's reputation as a playboy and his extravagant lifestyle have tarnished the image of the country. These revelations raise questions about privilege and accountability in a Muslim country where extramarital relationships are prohibited and adultery is punishable by stoning. According to the Brunei Penal Code In conclusion, Prince Jeffrey's expulsion from Brunei for several years has solidified his reputation as a playboy obsessed with beautiful women. His actions have cast a shadow over the royal family's image, prompting discussions about fairness and privilege in a society with strict moral codes. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to share your thoughts, like, and subscribe for more content. See you next time.